Hey Aries, it is the Sun Sage and thank you guys so much for tuning into your October reading. All right. So this will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising um, to see what predictions are coming in for you. All right. This can also um, resonate for cross watchers, but I am intending this to mostly resonate for Aries. Okay. So apply this to your situation. However, it resonates. What doesn't resonate, leave it. Take what resonates. Um, it is a general message. If you need something more specific and detailed for your situation and your energy, please check out the details in the description box to book a personal reading with me. All right. So Aries, let's see what's going on for you guys in October. What predictions do we have? for Aries. I want to get some main energies first and then we'll clarify with the tarot, okay? So let's see what's going on for you guys in the month of October, okay? Turn away. What else do we have? Okay, free spirit. What else do we have for Aries? Predictions, please, the month of October and go with the flow. So change is on the horizon for you, Aries. Um, I feel relationship change. I feel um, career changes. I feel just changes in many areas of your life. If you're getting used to something, if something feels stable, what I am feeling here from this message is don't get used to it, right? It feels as if things are about to um, shift a little bit in your world. And so I feel like this is a good shift. I feel like whenever there's turn away here, this is you being in control of what changes, you being in control of of what's shifting. And so I feel as if you have your hands on a situation that you've been monitoring for a while. Now, I do feel relationship because you go from uh, turn away to free spirit to go with the flow. So it's giving an energy of you're turning away from someone all right, maybe a long-term relationship. Maybe you're turning away from the idea that someone was your soulmate and you're allowing yourself to be open to other options with breaking free. But going with the flow is confirmation that October for you is going to be about separating yourself from things that no longer fit in with your life and allowing sort of the universe to guide you, okay? So we'll get deeper into those messages, but let's see why we have turn away for you, okay? So what are you turning away from in October? What is Aries turning away from in October? Thank you. Seven of Pentacles. Trying too hard. You're turning away from something that's been going on for a really long time. You've put a lot of effort into it. You gave it your all. And you're starting to realize in October, hmm, maybe it's time to um, give up on this. Maybe it's time to not invest any more into this. And so whatever you have been pouring into, it may feel like it's uh, leaving you depleted. The fact that the Nine of Pentacles is here at the bottom of the deck, Aries, this, this is saying that you guys feel like you lost yourself. You guys feel like you've lost your independence. You've possibly become dependent on someone. There's someone in your energy who you could feel depends on you. And so you don't have a lot of you time. You don't have a lot of time to really focus on your passions, what it is that you desire. And I feel like when you do, you're realizing that you can't make time for that because you're focused, you're dealing with others, uh, problems and desires and passions. So Something about this nine of pentacles in the reverse feels very fitting with everything else that's here. Um, you, you don't feel very independent, right? And there are those of you who are, who will equate this to financial independence, which this feels a little deeper, right? It can definitely feel like there are some of you who may have become dependent on someone relying on their resources, right? They may have said they'll help you or this person has been supportive of you, but it's not enough. And there are others of you who will acknowledge that this is about more than finances and money. This is about you feeling like you don't have a say in things that you are losing control or you have already lost it. So what you're turning away from is bad investments. And that can be financial investments, relationships or friendships, right? Other um, relationship dynamics in your life. Okay. Yeah. Seven of swords in the reverse. It's really coming through pretty clear for you, Aries, that in October you're cleaning house, right? I feel like this is you evaluating your situation, seeing what works, what doesn't, and really making clear decisions about how to move forward, which I feel is what gets you to that free spirit, right? Right now you may be feeling confined. I'm picking up on an eight of swords energy for you. Um, I have the king of wands here at the bottom, which can be your energy, but it can also just be, um, 
you know, someone that you're dealing with that feels like they have a, a lot of power and control. And I think the seven of swords in the reverse here is saying, you don't live, you don't want to live this lie anymore. You don't want to live in a way that feels like it is betraying what you truly want, right? In order for some of you to maintain stability, Aries, you had to go along with something that wasn't true. And it'll be different for each of you, right? What lie did you feed into in order to keep things peaceful, in order to make things better? And so I do feel like that's a real like question that's coming in for you guys for October. So why do we have this seven of swords in the reverse? Yeah, free, uh, the fool. I wanted to say free spirit because it's like the same energy. But yeah, it, this is, I don't want to live like this anymore. This is, I don't want to live like this. You may feel like you are having to break the news to someone in October. I don't have feelings anymore. Page of Cups in the reverse. I don't want to, you know, invest in this anymore. I think that my direction is taking me another path. You know, whatever it is, I just feel like you are going to attempt to retrieve your independence in the month of October. Separate yourself from those who no longer pour into you, right? Um, you can respect your experiences with people. You can accept your love of people and also accept that they may not be what's best for you. So what's this fool? You have an Aquarius here for some of you. All right. Um, it's the page of wands in the reverse. So look, you know, Aries, for you guys, this really is about um, you have held on for dear life to a relationship or some sense of some false sense of security here that feels like it is going to fall apart anyway. And so that's why I feel like you guys have the control right now. You are the represented by the emperor. So that's a, a, a message of you are in control. It's a message of you are the one that takes action towards what you need to happen. And so that's what's happening in October. A lot of you are going to make some really important decisions. Some of you are considering your children or a child, right? How, how that, how your decisions will impact them. But I also feel like this page of wands in the reverse is coming through as a lot of you. It's almost that um that you have sort of embraced a lesser role in the life of someone else or in the life of others in order to make them feel good. And this page of wands feels like you're, you don't even know what you want anymore, right? You're, you've lost your creativity. Your passions have been stifled. And so this is an attempt to regain your true self. I do feel like there's a lot of change. What did I say in the beginning of your reading? Change, death, rebirth. So in order for there to be a rebirth at all, in order for there to be some sort of breaking free inner at all, you are going to separate yourself from something or someone. You are going to change something and break free from something. Something has to end, okay? And I think you guys um, already know that. Two of Pentacles, all right? Um, so look, I feel like this turning away with all of these messages here are come. It's really coming through that this is a difficult decision. I get it. Um, for some of you, you're realistically thinking about the financial sacrifices that you may have to make. The two of pentacles, though, is confirmation that you are down to your last, <laughs> like your last nerve, your last, like you, you can't take something anymore and you're about to find a way to make it work. Aries, you are very resourceful. The king of pentacles is you may have, you know, already made some sacrifices that, uh, that hit your, your uh, finances a long time ago. And so if you don't want to stay in this position, possibly dependent on someone, it's interesting how the pentacles have been showing up in the reverse. That's telling me that you guys aren't as comfortable as you may have wanted to believe. So that means that somebody else is in control of the money or somebody else is in control of the direction. You could be waiting for a loan. This doesn't have to be tied to a person. There's something that you're waiting on that feels like it's not happening and it's going to be up to you to start finding other ways you know with the page of wands in the reverse it's already showing up that you're kind of out of out of ideas the two of pentacles is saying i'm kind of out of money i'm kind of out of you know the ability to invest here and what it is that i want and desire and so you really are going to have to get creative in october but the first step feels to be a death process an ending process of something that felt like security but isn't in real life, right? 
So free spirit, I do feel the energy of you guys freeing yourself from what it, what feels like it's restricting you from being your true self here. What is this free spirit? I'm going to do that again. Why is this here? It's the two of swords. All right. So lots of decision making, lots of panicking over these decisions, five of swords, lots of doubt about some of the decisions you know you have to make. So look, you may not find clarity and peace of mind in October, but you start the process of getting there in October. Right. I do feel like a situation that you're in. There's nothing here showing up saying that you feel comfortable anymore in a situation. It can be a career. Right. It can be a business partnership. It can be a love relationship. There's nothing here encouraging saying that you feel comfortable in that. And I almost feel like you're not even speaking up about it, right? And so your something is not yourself. You're not being yourself here. You feel blocked, okay? The two of swords is that you have an inability to see this situation clearly or you have for a long time. And so now you have to take the blindfold off and see this situation for what it is. This is something that may not improve. Now, I have been getting some pretty good readings for Aries over the past couple of weeks. So some of you may not resonate for this, right? Um, in that case, something has either changed in your relationship or it will change in October. So like I said, whatever you're comfortable with, okay, that is what will change. If you are comfortable with, um, a lack of growth. Let's say you've been having the same conversations with somebody for months and years about them needing to change or needing to um, be more reciprocal with you. And that person still isn't making changes. Something in you snaps and you start the change. You start the ending process. If you have been comfortable in a relationship that you felt was working for you, it is upended in October and it is, and it is exposed that it's not as comfortable or secure as you thought it was. All right. So this is an awakening period for you guys. It's very important to see things clearly to not, um, you know, sometimes friends, family go, how's everything? And you don't want people in your business. So you go, things are good. Things are fine. This feels like things are not fine for a lot of you or there's something bothering you that it's time to get off of your chest here. All right. So let's see what the two of swords is. Thank you. I'll take it. Um, it's a lot, but we'll break it down. Ace of Cups in the reverse for you guys. Queen of Cups and the ace of pentacles in the reverse again another pentacles energy in the reverse all right opportunities feel limited all right in october i feel like that's because a lot of you thought you were secure right um you turned down a job months ago because you were like i got this person that's wealthy and they take care of me or i have this job that you know i make enough money i'm good i don't need this new opportunity i'm gonna bypass that for right now it feels as if what's happening now, the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm sorry, the Ace of Cups is in reverse too. The Queen of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. What this is showing is that you may feel like some avenues have closed off to you, right? Maybe a couple of months ago, somebody wanted to talk to you romantically. They wanted to get to know you. And you said, no, I'm dealing with someone because you wanted to believe in your relationship. Well, that person may no longer be accessible to you. A couple of months ago, you had a job opportunity that presented itself and you may have, these are just examples, right? But just apply it to your situation. Um, you may have had a job opportunity that you turned down. It's not enough money for me, you know, whatever your reasoning was. And it feels like you wish you had that opportunity now, right? So this is some real straight talk here, Aries, because I really do feel like um, there's been some rose colored glasses with your situation and inability to see it for what it is. And I feel like this you is what you miss and what's been missing. And this you will take control. This you can see things for what they are, the queen of wands here. And I feel like there's a, a desire, a need even to get this part of yourself back so that you can make some really important life decisions before you lose anything else, okay? I feel like you've lost out on some opportunities and it feels like that's because you were investing in something. Remember the bad investment, 
there's time to change that, of course, right? And so you just have to accept that something you continue to invest in doesn't look like it's going to bear the fruit that you want. Let's see why the Ace of Pentacles is here in the reverse. With this Queen of Cups um, energy, I do feel like with breaking free, this is you. Um, this always feels to me like accepting your love for someone, accepting you, even forgiveness, right? Even if they haven't apologized, accepting that yeah, the relationship may be over. Your your ideals of this connection may be over, but you aren't going to move bitterly, right? You aren't going to move as somebody who is, um, you know, just going to be petty, right? I feel as if there's a lot more respect from you here. What's this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? It's the Three of Swords. So I do feel the disappointment. I felt that before the Three of Swords came through. This is a disappointment in finances, opportunities fading away, relationships not working. This feels like you've had enough. This feels like you're angry and frustrated. You're upset. You feel disconnected from your true self and you're wanting understanding here and you're wanting to understand why this is happening to you. It really does feel like you are being encouraged to um, go with the flow in the sense that don't just accept what's happening to you, not that type of go with the flow, but sort of embrace the change that feels like it's happening, right? This is for those of you that have been holding on to a relationship that really it's it's already started to fall away. This is for those of you that are still trying to make excuses for a job that doesn't satisfy you. And it feels like it could be time for you to tap into your more creative, resourceful self to find something different for you, something that will work for you. So this is a pretty intense energy that I'm picking up up for October that feels like it's about you embracing change. Exactly. The sun. Okay. So I feel like go with the flow and the sun. I feel like the best results in October are going to come from you not resisting when something is not working. Okay. Um, that again, back to the, how's everything with you? everything's good. That's like, and, 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 and wrong answer, right? This is that, this is the time to be real with yourself. This is the time to enlighten those around you or those that you can trust around you as to what you're going through. That can be a part of the acceptance process. Saying it out loud, my relationship isn't working. I'm not happy where my money is. I don't like my family situation. I'm not okay with where my business is. Saying it out loud feels like a freeing experience. And so it feels like you will be able to smoothly get on through this transition. Right, exactly. Ten of Cups. It's Look, I think that this is really important here. The sun and the ten of cups. It's confirmation that the minute you release control of situations that feel like they're out of your control anyway is the exact moment you start to feel more at peace. You start to feel that comfort that seems to have been denied to you for a while. And you start to find your way back to joy and happiness, right? But there, it first is an acceptance of situations in your life that are not going well, receive Receiving that, accepting that, even speaking about it, and that seems to be what sets you on a path, right, to rebuilding. I feel like October for you will be about dismantling, okay, and then rebuilding, okay, starting that process. Ending so that you can have new beginnings. What is this Ten of Cups? All right, go with the flow. So for some of you, go with the flow if people are trying to help you. I feel that message is coming through like a family situation. Go with the flow if someone says, hey, there's this job that's hiring, right? Um, this isn't the time, I don't think, to turn opportunities down. I have specific messages that come through for each sign sometimes. And it's like, hey, this is your month to take on everything that comes your way. But for you guys, I'm getting, this isn't the time to turn things down. This is the time to go for it, right? This is the time to really show the world what you've got. First, you have to show it to yourself and then you can show the world. I do feel a job opportunity um, coming in. You turned down something a while ago or you didn't take it seriously a while ago. Something else will present itself to you, something different, right? After a long time of feeling like there was no hope or no options, you're about to have plenty of options, seven of cups. What you do with them is your business, but you are about to have those opportunities that you feel like you missed out on. All right, what's this eight of pentacles? 
this is um reestablishing your independence Aries this really feels like this is reestablishing your independence and love and life four swords in reverse right this almost feels like it's time to stop uh, uh, feeling sorry for yourself. It's time to get over what didn't work. Five of swords. It's time to get over how will such and such feel if I leave? How will such and such feel if I quit? How will, you know, these people feel if I stop talking to them? The five of swords is this is an opportunity to truly do something that you need to do for yourself. And considering other people in your energy doesn't seem to be advised you are actually feeling like you're being encouraged to do what's best for you. Um, and that may leave some people feeling out. But um, the Four of Swords is you're about to be revitalized in a way that feels like it is about to motivate you to get back in the game. You've been out of the game for a while, I feel. You're about to get back in the game here. Um, what's this Four of Swords in the reverse for Aries? Thank you. It's the six of cups in the reverse. Okay. I, I'm done with the past. All right. I'm done looking at things that didn't work. Right. What I could have, should have, would have done. Those days are over. It's time for me. It, your breakthrough is coming. That's what I see with the ace of swords. I want to clarify the six of cups in reverse, and then I'll get one more message for you guys. Oh, you guys have a long message. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. Exactly. I like this because the minute you release the past, the minute a new opportunity or new opportunities present themselves to you. The tower moment is coming. OK, um, we are headed towards Scorpio season after Libra season. The tower moment is coming. I feel like that tower moment Um it's like, I'm almost picking up that it's not going to be any worse than things already have been, right? And so this is the time to embrace that and to accept what the universe feels like it's about to offer you a new start, okay? That has ties to finances, that has ties to a new situation that's going to help you build your independence or rebuild that. All right, let's see what we have for you. Throne, your potential is endless. There you go. OK, um, I don't think I need to go into this, but I do feel the message is coming through for you. Um, there's not a lot to worry about. Right. You guys may be afraid of change. I, you know, Aries aren't really scared of change, I don't think. But everybody has a, a natural reaction to things shifting in their life. And it's not always, yes, bring it on. You know, that's just not real. But I do feel like you guys have opportunities about to present themselves to you. and. While you may have had a different reaction to opportunities weeks, months, years ago, now is not the time to turn any of those opportunities down. You feel as if your independence is depending on you making the right decisions, specifically in October. All right. So that is what I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.